I'm going to take a wild guess at the fact that some very smart marketer somewhere told you that you need an elevator pitch or a killer message to get someone to pay attention to what you do and what you have to offer. I'm going to disagree. I think that there is no such thing as a killer message and you can have a business without a USP. If you think about messaging all the way through from initial awareness through to absolute loyalty, there are three key things that you need to know. First of all, this is a logic sandwich. It starts with emotion, it's filled with logic, and it ends with emotion. And there are three mistakes that people make. The first is, when they're just getting someone's attention, when you're getting that emotional trigger, they'll load in too much too soon. This is where you come in with your facts and your figures, when what you really need to do is catch their eye from across a crowded room. From a messaging perspective in terms of buying, this is an emotional trigger that's empathetic that gets them to go, oh, yes, I feel like that. Once you've done that, once you have that negative emotional trigger, you then move into the logic part of the logic sandwich. This is where you address their considerations and their constraints. What will rule you in? What will rule you out? This is where you reach for your facts and figures. What people get wrong here is they're too emotional. It feels like an evasive answer. How long will it take? You're going to love it. How much will it cost? It's going to change your life. Give me a straight answer. So in the middle, emotion can feel really evasive. And then at the bottom part of a buying decision, you're back to emotion. But where at the beginning it was a negative away from trigger, here you're looking for an emotional towards, something that pulls them forwards. And what people get wrong here is that they burst people's bubble. So many times, just after you've handed over your cash, you get hit with an invoice. Gosh, I feel loved. How about a thank you? How about a warm hug at the end of the buying journey? So the mistakes are, one, too much too soon. Two, slippery salesmen being evasive in that middle part of the process. And three, bursting their bubble. You need to go emotion away from. Logic, facts and figures. Emotion towards that hug. And that's how you take someone all the way through a buying decision with three interrelated messages.